for the backer of this sign, I'm using a half inch sheet of plywood. I'm running it through the table saw to cut it down to the dimensions needed for this project. Next, I'll measure and mark the center points for each of the four sides and then connect those marks with a straight edge. Next, I'll draw marks at one inch increments across all of the four sides. Then I'll connect those marks with a straight edge to create a grid. After the grid is completed, I'll then begin drawing my diagram onto the plywood using the straight edge and a mechanical pencil. After this is done, I'll go over it with a Sharpie to darken the lines and help them to stand out from the rest of the grid. Drawing the diagram onto the plywood will help me to stay organized. It will also help me to create a cut list for the various widths I'll need the wood strips to be. To begin preparing the fence pickets for this project, I first need to cut a straight edge into each of the boards. To do this, I use a sheet of OSB that I know has a straight edge to it. I'll screw the fence picket down, leaving just a portion of it overhanging the OSB. I'll then run the OSB against the fence the overhang of the fence picket will then be cut off, leaving me with a straight edge. After creating a straight edge to all of the pickets, I then cut them down to a more manageable size. Once this was done, I then resaw the pickets down to just under a half inch thickness. This will help the strips of wood be a more uniform thickness throughout the whole sign. I then ran the pickets through the table saw again to cut them down to the various widths needed. Now it's just a matter of adding the strips of wood to the plywood and following the diagram. I'll use my miter saw to cut the different angles needed for this project. To fasten the wood strips, I'm using Type Bond 3 glue as well as 5 8 inch brad nails. I leave the ends of the strips of wood long, overhanging the plywood, and then I'll cut them off with a table saw later.
To build the frame, I'm using a piece of reclaimed 2x8 construction lumber. This will give me three of the frame boards. For the fourth, I'll use leftover scrap piece of 2x3 from the garage shelves I built this summer. The first thing I'll do is run them through the table saw to get them down to the thickness and width needed for the frame. Next, I'll run each board through multiple passes of the table saw, which is set at a quarter of an inch high, to create a groove. The sign will eventually sit into this groove. And finally, I'll remove a small section of face frame to create a layered look to the frame. I added two coats of black spray paint to the frames. After they were dry, I lightly sanded them with 220 grit sandpaper. This created a distressed look as well as allowed the wood grain to show through the black paint. I miter cut the ends at 45 degrees. After applying glue to the mitered cuts, I inserted the sign ends into the frame grooves and nailed the frame together with four inch and a quarter brad nails, two on each side of the corner. Here's a final look at the completed sign. Hopefully it will inspire you to create your own abstract art. Thanks for watching. Hi, welcome back to my channel, JL Wood Artistries. My name is Jordan Lejubrius. And ironically, I am sad at the moment. You see, three now three co-workers have left since last month when dan and now ariel i i don't know i don't get it i mean i've worked closely with all three of them and i can't figure out what the common denominator is on why they're all leaving it's got to be something something is probably pestering them or annoying them or irritating them i have no idea i Maybe someone. It's probably someone. Maybe a jokester. No one likes those guys. <sighs> whatever it is, don't you worry, I'll get to the bottom of it. And we'll put an end to whatever's causing them to leave. But 
Since Ariel is leaving, or has left at this point, I decided to make her a farewell gift. Something to let her know that we appreciate her and we're all gonna miss her. So, Ariel, please know that we appreciate you and we're all gonna miss you. Now, let's talk about something else for a second. This channel needs your help to grow. If you want this channel to grow like I do, well, then subscribe. Becoming a subscriptioner to my channel is free, and yet I've been told the content on this channel is gold. So you're basically becoming rich for free. And that sounds like a pretty good deal to me. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends, your family, your coworkers that are still working with you, and everyone that you know. Also subscribe to my channel, it's free, and it will make you rich with gold. That's it for this video. Until I see you on the next one, take care and stay safe. Goodbye. Wait, didn't Wynn call me annoying that one time? Actually, multiple times. And then Dan was always telling me to shut up in meetings. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> uh, and Ariel, she swore at me recently actually. Wait a second.